Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to talk about the Stenos Wisdom farming location in Titan Quest. So where I am right now is in the city of Athens in Act 1, as you can see. We can start at the Athens portal and this farming location is going to be specifically for the Stenos Wisdom's items that you see me mousing over right here. Uh, these items come with physical resistance, uh, plus percentage to energy, energy regeneration, and casting speed. These are very, very powerful caster monster and frequents that you can get. Uh, this one that I'm mousing over right here is probably one of the best ones that I've gotten from farming today. And what's good about monster and frequents is not only are they very, very powerful if you get a good roll, but you can also put a relic or charm on them and make them even more powerful. So I can put the crystals of Erebus charm on this and give it plus two skills as well as some vitality resist and something else if, and uh, whatever the completion bonus happens to be. As well as these Thanos Wisdoms, you can also find these Sentinel's Helms that drop at this location. They come with uh, Pierce and Poison Resistance on them, as you can see. And I think they also come with Pierce, Poison Resistance, and Dexterity. I think those are the base rolls on them. Also, these Sentinel Curses drop, but they kind of suck. And last but not least, some enemies in this location can drop the Stonebinder's Cuffs. Not all Gorgon enemies in uh, Act 1 can drop these only specific organ enemies so i'm going to be talking about that a little bit and showing you which ones drop the stone binders cuffs but you should keep that in mind so this is the uh the main farming rotation that we're going to be doing from uh the city of athens you're going to be running into uh this area here the acropolis and we're going to be basically going crazy on these gorgon enemies the Gorgons are the main enemies that drop the uh, Stenos Wisdom, or sorry, they're the only enemies that drop the Stenos Wisdom in the game. So that's why we're specifically farming the Gorgon Dense areas in uh, Act 1. Also, you might notice that there are more Gorgon enemies for me. Uh, and there's one Stenos Wisdom. Not very good roll. There's more Gorgon enemies for me because I'm playing with X-Max on. It is a mod for Titan Quest, which makes uh, three times more enemies spawn or four times more enemies, depending on uh, uh, what your settings are with X-Max. And it's just a, uh, it's essentially a mod that makes things easier when it comes to farming. It'll make the game overall harder. However, more enemies equals more chance at loot when it comes to farming. So, I mean, it saves a lot of time when it comes to farming, which is the main, main thing that I use it for. There's another Sentinel's Karis. As you can see, another not very good roll. Most of the monster and frequents you get are going to be garbage, as per usual, in these sorts of games, whenever you're farming a chase item. That, uh, one thing that's cool about this game, see that special bow that uh, Archer is using right there? She's going to drop that. That's going to be an epic item. It's always cool in games like that when you can see the monster using the weapon that they drop. That wasn't one of the special Gorgons either. That was just a random normal Gorgon that dropped, uh, dropped the goodies. First floor of... Uh, this dungeon usually has more undead than gorgons. You have to clear some of the undead. That way uh, they don't follow you everywhere. I'm just doing a once over real fast checking for uh, gorgons. I can't remember where they all are. Or I should say uh, sometimes they spawn in different rooms I think. It's either that or I really can't remember where they all are. I think sometimes on the first floor, though, they spawn in uh, different rooms than the undead. Now, the second floor is usually all Gorgons. Come on. Let's go through. This game is so annoying when it comes to uh, trends transferring between floors.
Now, I don't recommend you kill all the undead, but you need to kill enough of it to uh, make it safe for you to run around. As you can see, we missed some Gorgons over there. That was my... Dumb on my part. And uh, anybody who's familiar with farming Gorgons that's watching this video will notice that there's not been many uh, of the unique ones that drop Stonebinder's Cuffs in this area yet. There we go. There's the first one. See that red Gorgon right there in the middle? It, when you mouse over it, it says Gorgon Geomancer. That's one of the uh, unique Gorgon enemies that will drop Stonebinder's Cuffs. There's a... Uh, a green version of this called a uh, profane I think and then you have the red version which is uh, the geomancer also Gorgon hero enemies and Gorgon bosses both fall into the same category that uh, they have a chance of dropping stonebinders cuffs the regular Gorgon enemies do not drop stonebinders cuffs and the named Gorgon enemies have a very low chance of dropping Stonebinder's Cuffs. So over, overall, it's a very, very annoying item to farm. I think this is the last level with Gorgons on it. The last two levels are all undead. So after we finish this floor, we'll, uh, we'll portal out and we'll go to the Gorgon bosses. Uh, if you're just farming for Steno's Wisdom and you don't care about Stonebinder's Cuffs, then you'll basically just want to reset at this point and uh, do your farming ro rotation over again. Um, however, if you don't mind doing a Stonebinder's Cuffs run, then I would totally recommend you uh, portal over to Parnassus after we're done here and do a uh, run through there, which is what I'm going to show you. The reason uh, I only recommend doing this if you want Stonebinder's Cuffs is because the amount of Gorgons in this one area is very, very low. Really, the only thing that we're going over here for is the um, because we, we want a chance at Stonebinder's Cuffs. If you're just farming Steno's Wisdom, then it would kind of be a waste of time to go over here. It's a decently far run. We do have to clear some enemies on the way over, yada, yada. And as you can see, if you're looking at the screen now, you can see the difference between playing with X-Max on and no X-Max. The amount of enemies is just insane with X-Max. You do kind of have to kill as you go here uh, when you have X-Max on because you'll end up trailing with too many enemies behind you. And it'll become a... Uh, a bit of an issue. Like here. That took enough of them out so they won't follow me up to here. So here is the Gorgon bosses. Again, you'll notice that because I have X-Max on, there's a whole bunch of them. No stone binders cuffs though. I don't think I've ever gotten that item before. So this is the uh, the small cave where you would farm after uh, those enemies. Again, if you uh, if you only once then as wisdom, you probably won't come to this location. And usually, if you only want Stonebinder's cuffs, you don't farm the uh, the cave after this, or you can, but. There's a decent... Nope. I was wrong. That's not a decent Steno's Wisdom.
And once you're done this uh, this run, you would just basically log out and reset and then log back in and run it again. If you're using Xmax, you'll have to uh, re-enable Xmax because it's what's called a bounce mod in Titan Quest. You have to research it. I don't have time to explain it right now during this video, but it's not too difficult. I'll tell you when we're done this run. Just like two more packs of mobs, I think it is. No profaners in this cave. All of those unique geomancers. So I wasn't able to show you any of the other enemies that drop uh, the item we want. And that's it. So I don't recommend you farm Minoan Labyrinth, which is another popular location for... Uh, these items and for gorgon enemies in act one and the reason i don't recommend you farm minnow and labyrinth is because gorgons don't always have a 100 percent chance of uh spawning there and in order to make them spawn there you have to change your game seed and in order to change your game seed you have to log out of the game completely and then log back in and the reason i don't like this is because uh with bounce mods and using x max and stuff like that you crash a lot and it's just very, very tedious to keep logging all the way out of the game until X-Max works, and it's it's a mess. So I'd, I'd recommend you just use X-Max instead of, of that method and farm someplace else. But that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot in this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And if, you guys, if I forgot anything, leave a comment below. Let me know. And leave me a like slash subscribe to me if, for more Titan Quest videos if you did enjoy this video. Aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Titan Quest guides. Peace.